summer guys um yeah just sitting outside my house really um basically this is actually one of my favorite things to do like a lot of people might think you know you gotta go to the woods to do bushcraft and stuff but i completely disagree one of my favorite things actually is just getting like my transier or my usgi or something just sitting out on my house really and just having a brew just get the milk get the tea bag um did a little mod today done quite a bit of bushcraft but i haven't gone to the woods because there wasn't enough time but i'm definitely going on tuesday um so yeah i've done a number of things so without even going to the woods i've done uh char cloth i've done just had a fire i've done a video response to somebody's competition i've done um, a mod to the usgi you know and my water's soon going to be boiled so um yeah it's just been a nice day and one of my favorite things here as i was saying is just getting this plastic chair out and they're uh, just sitting out i'll sometimes just do it after school because now the evening's getting longer you know you've got a lot of time before it gets dark but it's just really nice so um when this is boiled and that and i've made my brew i'll show you the mod for the usgi in one minute i think i might be out of mess actually yeah i'm almost out of mess relight it now basically I'll show you it more in a minute but yeah um got the my zipper so nice it here that's the thing about zippos is that um like when you turn the uh, um, when you turn the like if I do that it's lit do that flame light goes the other way that's why I want to get a IMCO or IMCO I don't know how you pronounce it if someone could tell me that'd be good um, lighter with like the butane ones where you can like put them on their side and it's like meant for pipe lighters and stuff so uh, yeah basically what I've done with the tra um, U USGI mod is um, I've basically just got an Altoids tin, the one I was using to make charcoal I've just got a bit of fabric like rolled it up like flat so it fits in and then I've just taken the lid off um, and then I pour mess on it and just light it. Creates a really good stove because it because um, just fits in the USGI. And then handily it fits in this pocket down there. Just fits, so I can put maybe a bottle of fuel in here and that. And then I'm thinking of like when I get my um oh almost sorry about the swear there um. I don't know how I'm going to do this now. Just, it was really hot, I almost burnt myself with that. Oh, got myself in a pickle here. Well, I'll stop the video and uh, I'll sort it out in a minute. Right, so I've righted the problem now. Sorry you couldn't see my face on the uh, other video. But the thing is, right, it's a bit unstable. Like... 
um, like I had it, but if you turn like this, you're wasting quite a bit of fuel because a lot of the flames like going over there. So it's a bit of a tricky one, really. I guess that's a better option like that. Anyway, we're boiling, so I get my tea bag out. Yeah, basically what I'd do is just lift it off with these two things, two like bamboo pieces. Yeah, so I'm um, just going to wait for that to like, brew up a bit, but um, yeah, so it's been a pretty good day. Yeah, as I say, I'm going down the woods on Tuesday, so I'll show you the uh, like fuel burner. Oh yeah, um, if you're like using quite a lot of meths in the wood, I don't know if they um, sell like 500ml versions, which would probably be a bit more appropriate for like, us bushcrafters like when we're just going for day trips and overnighters but these I think are so good this maybe I'll try and do so I think they're about a tenner each they've got a proper safety valve so basically you can pour from both sides you've got a lanyard so you can hang it or like do something like that then um, just give this a stir Right, I'll get back to you because I've got to put some burn cream in that. Right, turn to macro. Basically, that's the damage that the USGI stove thing just burnt me right across there. I'll put some of that Boots burn cream on that I showed you in my first aid kit video. Because, um, yeah, it's pretty pretty annoying gotta go to my youth group pretty soon so anyway so um, yeah this bottle it's like really good it's just like um just basically you unscrew here and then if you just leave it like that your fuel still can't dump out unless this gets pushed on and then it can pour it and uh, yeah it's just really good i'll check if they got 500 mil but I definitely recommend it, it's so good. Anyway, I've got this tea bag out there. Just put it up over there. Right. Um, uh, uh, just put some milk in this. Yeah, I like quite a lot of milk. You probably think that's too much. Anyway, I'll show you this stove thingy. Right. See how well you can see this, right? So this is the uh, thing. It's I'm gonna top it up, but basically it's turned to charcoal off some of it. But basically it's just a lot of fabric rolled over in here. Pour the mess on, and then this lid just sits on top. But I've removed the hinges so I can just lift it straight off, so the lid's not in the way. So uh, yeah, I think it works pretty well. I'm gonna modify it just by putting a bit more cloth in here. But yeah, that's that. So um, yeah. But, and then it just uh, it just fits in this one here. Just it's a little bit tight, but it works there. So there you go. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Sorry if you found it a bit boring. Just wanted to show you really one of my pastimes out here in front of my house but um yeah sad it had to end like that but anyway yeah see you on the next video